Hey, what's up guys? Jason again from Veteran Custom Woodworks and today we're gonna to show you how we built our whiskey and concealment case. Concealment right here. So check it out, follow, subscribe, please share and enjoy. Thank you. All right guys, first you wanna start by just building a normal box. And then we're gonna mark off our spots for our flag. So normal flag build. And then we put the union on, make sure the hinges are good. And now we're making the strips so they fit the union and the box. And so what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna take those strips that are on the bottom half of the union and you're gonna to have to cut them a little bit so they fit uh, along the edge of the box. So we went ahead and then we're gonna go ahead and kind of chisel those off so it fits the bottom of the box. So now they're cut off. Uh, we just use the circular saw and the chisel so it's gonna be able to fit so there we go. Now it's flush with the bottom of the box and then we're gonna do our screw holes. So here we go, just normal hinges. Uh, they're tiny screws. Next time I make one of these, I'll probably get uh, bigger screws and bigger hinges, but it works. So now we've got the top and bottom half on the flag. This still opens, gonna have to sand a little bit on each one to make it uh, flush but uh, overall fit well. There's just gonna be a little gap because of the wood, but uh, there we go. So we're gonna attach that to the top and you're gonna see kind of what the rest looks like. Here we go. So for the uh, concealment part of it, just gonna build another box within a box. All you have to do is measure out how big you want it. And now we have the box within the union. And then the top's gonna open up like that. There we go. So those are 60 in struts. And if you need to know where you can get them, you can get them on Amazon or just leave a comment. Now we're gonna build a shelf for the whiskey glasses. And we're just gonna put a piece of wood right there and screw it in. So here we go. Just measure out how far you want the glasses and then screw that into each end. Again. Measure twice, measure three times, measure four times until you're good. And then we're gonna fill in that screw hole uh, that we misplaced. So now uh, what I was gonna do is use the fingerprint lock, uh, but that ended up not being the correct type of lock. That was more for a drawer slide. We were gonna put the fingerprint on top, uh, but we ended up going with the other one that we used to do uh, with the RFID. So you'll see that here. So again, we install the RFID lock. And the trick to these is do not put the back on until you can put this one on there. Uh, you just have to match it up on the back side and then screw it in so you know it fits and you know it locks. And there we go. All right, so now we've got the shelves in and we've got the struts. Got to put the bottom strut on there. Same way we did the first one. And then we put uh, some corner braces in there to just ensure uh, the stability of it. So now we're just kind of checking everything. Hinges are on, that's closing. And then the bottom comes up. I wanna make sure that's closing correctly. Again, you might wanna sand that a little bit and we're gonna end up putting some magnetic uh, stops on there so it closes all the way when you when it's flush instead of opening right up. Uh, but there we go. And there's the magnetic uh, catches. So we put one on one top, one on the other. There's the lock. And you can see the struts both fit. Now there's the corner braces that we put on each corner of the box. 
just gonna ensure a tighter fit and more stable. So they work really well and luckily I was 90 degrees on everything. So the back of the build is complete. Uh, the sides are one by sixes and the flag is around 19 and a half, 20 by 36. And then again, the sides are one by sixes. So you have enough room for your bottles. And that's what we use for the backing, premium white face pine. So we went ahead and spray painted it green. Uh, that's the customer's favorite color. Uh, this was a surprise for him. So now we're just gonna put glue along the edges and then we will place the board on and then router it. So here we go. So go ahead and put some panel nails and screws and then the edges that weren't flush, we're gonna go ahead and router with a round over bit. So we did that and we used a 200 pound cleat. Uh, the box ended up being probably 20, 25 pounds or so. So you got another 75 pounds to work with. So we put that on there. Now we're measuring for the Kaizen foam. Uh, easy, to, easy to cut, you just cut it with a Leatherman or any knife. So there we cut it. There's Kaizen foam, and there we go. And we just push it in there. There's the Kaizen foam. They only wanted uh, one piece of it. So here's what we're looking like. Everything's nice and clean. Reinforce some of the uh, backings with screws. And here we go. There is our whiskey and concealment cabinet. So there we go. There's a little joke I put in there. So you made you look. So you got your whiskey, you got whatever you want to put in there. And yeah, that's it. So here's what it looks on the outside. Rustic American flag. And on the inside, you got your whiskey, your bourbon, or whatever you want to put in there. I appreciate it. Subscribe.